The BMW 3 Series Coupe never had many problems when it came to how it drove, but its conservative styling meant it just looked a bit like a two-door version of the 3 Series Saloon. BMW recognised this is a bit of a problem as well, so the new 4 Series Coupe is going to be markedly different to the 3 Series 4-door. It's going to be longer, lower and wider than the old car, and we've got a version of it here today. We've also invited a team of what car readers along to take a look at the new car. I think a very uh, nice ergonomics, uh, different from the 3 Series quite dramatically. Uh, I like the way it stands and the width uh, it stands on the wheels seems to be very, very positive. Big boot, which surprised me. The favourite bit, um, I think, is the seating position is, is very driver orientated. The controls, very cockpit, come around you. Uh, you can see everything, it's very clear, um, nicely laid out and simple. I think the brand is it's an ideal thing, so that you really do separate out from the 3 Series from the 4 Series. It feels different as an owner, um, and it, it matches in with the, the 6 Series and the 8 Series history of BMW, with the even numbers being a bit more of a sporty difference. I do like the idea that they're talking about a four-wheel drive in rural areas. I think that's, that's really important. Rear-wheel drives are making it rather difficult. Um, but I think it's a definite contender. I really do like it. I absolutely love it. I think it's um, a great looking car. It's probably the um, best looking um, coupe that will be on the road in 2013. I love the aggressive feline um, lines. The lights are absolutely gorgeous with the, uh, the eyelashes. Uh, some people don't like it, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The curve of the bonnet, it's an absolutely beautiful car. Uh, you do sit quite low on the floor. On, uh, in this car, which is a bit surprising. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not saying it's bad. It's a good thing. It makes uh, the feeling more racing. The, the 3 Series, more familial car. This is more a sporty car, maybe for a younger audience. Uh, personally, I prefer the, uh, the more aggressive, sporty uh, look of the prototype with all the chrome and double exhaust. And especially at the front, uh, there was a, a gorgeous design, chrome, like half-curved square that makes the car. I'll probably uh, go for one, definitely. Watered down from the concept, but potential's there. You know, this is just the normal sport version. You know, when, when they release the M Sport version, that's going to look absolutely stunning. I feel it. The car's got a lot of potential, I think. It's stunning. Beautiful car. Something I can see myself driving. I love the front. The front is more sort of squashed down but wider. It looks a lot more aggressive. And just the, the, from the side profile of the car, that, that sort of sleek contour line they have here, absolutely gorgeous, uh, stunning, stunning. I mean, it looks a lot more aggressive and that's, that's my sort of favorite thing about the car. The back, the back end is nice. It's I'm trying to compare it with the uh, old older 3 Series and it's, it's definitely following in suit. The, the rear lights are stunning. I mean, I'm a big fan of those, uh, those sort of two light tubes that go like that. They're really nice, really nice. I mean, definitely keeping up with the modern sort of looks. I'm not a big fan of red interior, but you know, you know, it might have sold me this red interior in this car. It's really nice. I love, I love the, uh, the way the leather seats match with the dashboard trim is red as well. I like that, that's a nice feature. Uh, I think it's a great package from BMW, very sort of standard, I guess, for the guys at BMW. A bit like a typical day in the office producing a great car. Um, I think I'd have liked it to feel a bit more and look a bit more dynamic as per the concept, but can't fault the way that it's put together and what it looks like. And certainly it's bigger than I thought um, it'd be for the replacement for the 3 Series. So um, yeah, it looks like it's going to shape up to be a really good uh, coupe package. Okay. There's lots of room here, it doesn't feel um, so enclosed. The dash is typically high, quite similar to the 5 Series I drive, but for a coupe it's where you want to be, you want to be firmly sat in the car. So um, I think the position's great and it's a nice place to be as well. The materials are good, um, good visibility all round. So yeah, really happy with the driving position. I sat in the back, I'm 5'9 and my head's on the ceiling. So good enough for my kids, but I think it'd be a bit too cramped for, for me in the back of this car. Yeah. In the main, position's great, visibility good. I think the real proof is how does it drive? Because for a car like this, it's got to drive brilliantly. Um, and if it does that, it'll be fantastic. If you're thinking of buying a new 4 Series, then it goes on sale in October, but we'll be driving it long before then with our road test going up in July. Right now, there's more information on whatcar.com on specification and pricing, which starts at just under £29,000.